so the, our database is created our config is done so now let's go for the next the next one will be the public folder not here but in the parents we add a public folder and this public folder will be the web root of our application within the public folder we will create two files the index.php file and the ht access file the index.php file is the entry point to our application and is responsible for loading the auto load file and initializing the app class the app class the ht access file is used to redirect all the requests to the index.php file ensuring that all requests are handled by our application the next folder will be the routes folder this folder will contain all of our application routes defining mapping url to control action so once you have created all of these folder files your folder structure should be something like this uh, it's still just one more file it is the autoloid.php that for let's say tag a php here and here we will set the php and we will require the autoloid to be secure because when deploying our website or hosting it we ho we deploy in the public path the public folder so any of any includes or any of our functions will be private here outside the public folder and it will be good and for the autoload or anything we will want to add it will be inside the autoload so now we created the autoload.php file and that is an important file in our mvc framework that loads all the classes automatically without the need for manual inclusion for that we will start coding it and first we will need to require all configuration files that we have here and our core files so to do that there is a a function names glob and this function if i say uh, for that i use the parent for example like we say let me say that we are when we do include we require for the autoload public uh, that means the autoload to php the code is like we copy that and we make it here so to go to the config we will need to get outside the public function and we will get outside the public function that means that we are in the lms mvc then we can go to the config config folder and select all the php files that means it will be redirected to the config folder and that folder and we he will search for all files with the php extension and he will get her name to visualize that we can make a pre here and we can print the result of this function with print print r and we can open it in our web browser we can go to refresh our public and that's it when we make something like that it's it's return an array this array contains all our functions or our files sorry so the same thing will be with core if i do core it will it will print this file from 0 to 6 i think there is seven files so all the files will be like that so to require all those files in our project we will need to do to make a loop so for that we, we will do a for each and we select the file or the array and 
we make something like the file name the file and we will echo file name for example we will see what is there in the file name and inside the file name that's what we have let me add a break for the new line and you see in the loop every time we find the file name it is another occurrence another element of our array so we need to require this file and all of those so for that we will add a require the file name and it will be good and the same we will do with the config.php so now we include all the config and the core files and for the app or the routes it will depend when we will use it uh, or uh, our utility i mean that's all so that's let's remove those our test was finished so that was our first step to for creating our website or our learning management system we created the folder structure we know now that we have a public folder that the first point that we are rendering a project we render it for the public function public folder and then the public require the auto load that runs all classes and everything we need and the next in the next video we will handle the router and we will see other thing and we will develop our core functions and we will accelerate more and more and it will be more more and more easier for you and we will understand more what we are going to make or our framework how it works or such because in our projects we are going to make a such a framework it will be our own framework but even it is similar to any other framework it is based on laravel for my development for my idea i was inspiring from laravel from the app folder, the config, the core, the public, the route, everything is look similar. I wish that will be easy and with the best practice. And I hope you guys continue with me in this playlist. I hope you like my video. Please leave a comment. If you don't know anything, feel free feel free and leave your comments i will ask i will respond i will respond all of them i mean it all of them so please be passion and we will learn a lot from this course so please leave a like comment and subscribe share my channel if you like it and see you in the next video bye